I can hear our bell from here. Oh, hi guys! And um, welcome to a new doll box opening and review video. So today I have with me the last of the Execute Mew Mew a la mode, I guess. Maybe the last of the Mew Mew a la mode series. Uh, I don't know, I think I had known the last when it was about uh, Lise. Lise Cat, that like number 11. But this one is number 13 of that series, so I think that's the last one. And she is a Mia and... So normally the Alamo series only has Saras, Lise, Yuzuha, Maya and Alisa. But this year for some reason Azon decided that they are going to have Mew Mew like Saras Alamo, Mia doll part of that collection. So Mia is an excuse that was probably maybe upgraded to become a Saras Alamo girl. I have no idea what they are doing, but anyway, so they have this new uh, cat which is a Siamese cat, Mia, and sh this one is a regular version so the one easy to grab, you can just go to Amiami and grab her maybe, I don't know if they still have some, but um, yeah, she was the easy to grab one so, uh, she is also the one with a normal mouse and she is also the one that looks the closest to the Miu Execute a doll from the series 12 of Execute because Mia is a Miu's older sister so basically she's a kitten and this one I don't see her cushion so anyway normally the, the doll would come with a cushion I have it for the other version so I don't mind if she doesn't have it I don't remember if you can get that cushion only if you get the doll from the Azan store or if it's possible to get it anyway. Uh, like I got my other one at the um, at doll show so that's why I got the cushion but I don't know if this one also come with it or not. So yeah, let's open the box and then we're going to really see what's inside and what is not. So here is the last of my kittens. Maybe Azon is going to make more, I don't know. So I, I really think the cushion was actually a um, like, limited item from Azon's store because it doesn't show any cushion thing on here. So she can borrow her sisters. Anyway, so first let's start with the background. So it's like a normal Mew Mew background. So it's sort of light pinkish here and then you have darker brownish red and you have the footprint of the cat then she comes with this little book so this is the regular version the one we're opening today and this is the limited version which I opened in a previous video so if you want to see the limited version you can also go and check out that video there's going to be a link at the end of this one so, uh, here you have the, the very famous heart-shaped tail picture of the dolls. I think they make that uh, picture for every single doll in that series. And you have some, the regular and the limited, all like with their characteristics. Then you have a list of what she comes with. So, cut here the little bell uh, on the collar cardigan, shirt, dress, wrist warmer, panties, cat tail with a magnet, so the panty has a pocket, socks, shoes and the Mia Mia hand, which is cool. I like that they have extra pair of hand. Then you have the explanation how to use the magnet, so you put the little magnet in the panty and then you can just clap the cat tail on it and it's going to stay. Then we have picture of both dolls with new clothes from Azon. Uh, does it say when those are coming out? Yeah, this one said this one is November 2017, so next month. Well, this month basically when you're watching that. 
so you can basically redress your dolls in those outfits. And then we have portraits of the limited version and the regular version. They are quite beautiful. And then that's basically it for the book. So let's have a look at the doll and the accessory she comes with. So and you you could see in the book it didn't say cushion, so that's why she doesn't have cushion with her. So let's take like this is going to be the cat part. So the little furry wrist warmer on this one. Little furry beige wrist warmer. So basically you have to take out the hands to be able to put them on because they are so tight. Then we have the color with the belt. When I was saying that I could hear the bell from the box before, it's noisy. So you've closed it with a little crochet and it's there around the neck. And then of course you have the cat's ears and tail and this pocket with the magnet. So I need to be careful not to lose the magnet. Ah, so much tape on that. It's a bit crazy, guys. So where is the entrance? Here. Here we go. So you have one bag for the ears. They're like hard ears with... So they can't move, it's like hard and it's like flocked. So it's brown and it has this little white spot at the top. It's really cute. And then you have the magnet. So the magnet is out of the bag and then you have the cat tail here. Oops. So it's also the same. It keeps that shape and it's brown like darker and lighter here. And the... What? Okay. That's perfect. So the magnet just jump on the tail. Here you go. And then you have the cardigan she comes with. I like the color of this one better. The other one has a blue one. And I kind of like this white, sort of, yeah, it's white, I guess. With that little brown cat head here. I like this color better. And it's open with those little crochets. And then we have the shoes, so black shoes, like you have to slide your feet inside through the loop and the loop stay around the ankle and it has little cat ears. And then of course we have the extra pair of hands because she's a cat. So she needs cat's shaped hand. So the one that goes like folded wrist style. So here we go. Folded wrist style, close fist. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's have a look at the doll. So she comes with this super cool reddish outfit and I really love that style of outfit which is why I got the Miu and which is why I couldn't really pass on those cats on top of having to finish the series obviously but yeah I couldn't pass on them so one of the reason is that awesome color outfit look at that it's really beautiful so let me zoom on her and show her to you from close up so guys, say hello to the new kitten. I put on everything, the new hands, like the meow meow hands, the wrist warmer, the tail, the heels, the shoes, all is put up so you can just sit back, relax and 
enjoy <laughs> the review. So she comes with this very nice long and soft hair. I think there is a new process on the doll recently by Aizen because their hair are a lot softer and less stickier than they used to be. So I'm pretty happy with the new change. So she has this uh, square uh, around her face, so it's like bangs and then long hair back all the way to her ass basically. So very long hair. Uh, it's black but it also has some sort of very brown reflection. So depending on the light you can see it black or dark brown. So it, it's really a nice color. Then she has a sort of half closed blue eyes and she has a tiny little smile and some light blush on the cheeks. Then she comes with the ears of the cat, so she's a Persian cat, a uh, Siamese cat, she's a Siamese cat, so she has the like black ears and she has this white spot in the middle of her ears, so it's pretty cute. Then she has this little collar with a belt, it's like a shocker I guess. It's like brown in leather style and then it has this little golden bell. And then she has, the, so I said, the wrist warmer before, which is a fluffy thing. And she comes with this dress. So uh, it's first you have the shirt which is like it has this big color here which is sort of like sailor type <gasps> sorry guys her hair is cut taken into the tail of the cat so you have the sailor color with a cat little ears and it's a nice like classic sort of fabric I like this style of fabric and it has also a little cat design at the center here and basically that's all you're gonna have as a cat design on this doll just like the other one in like the others in the series the Sarah Salamol have a lot of cat little design everywhere but this one is just basically going to be it with a cat head on the cardigan so it's like a normal shirt it has some wrist decoration here the same fabric as the color like those lines and squares and otherwise it's sort of beige but a little bit transparent you can see the color of her flesh underneath and then she has this dress um, which has so this little bow is part of the dress you have decorative buttons on top you have this fake belt of sort of leathery fabric with this buckle at the center. It's plain reddish, like wine color. And then it's finished with this same sort of square and lines fabric. So it's really nice. It's a really cool dress. And basically that's it. Uh, she doesn't have an under there, it's an underskirt, so that's basically it. And it's cut on into like a half circle. So you have this like quarter of circle at the front, quarter of circle at the back. And then she comes with the black socks. So just plain black socks, high in, like goes to the knees. And basically that's it. And then the little shoes. So it's black shoes. Uh, they have trouble staying in place on her uh, feet. They're not not difficult to put on but they are like sort of sliding if you move the doll around. So be careful and like but the, this part is actually going to stay so you cannot really lose the shoes just uh, the feet are going to come out. Uh, it's out again. See what I'm talking about? So yeah the heel of the sh feet has a tendency to come out of the shoe. And then you have so the eel, it's in black, it's all in black anyway. And you have the little cat. Here's. Out. 
so at the front in one bus shoes and yeah i guess that's it for this doll guys and yeah of course the tail at the back that you put on uh, using the magnet inside the panties so brown and lighter brown near the house and yeah I guess that's it uh, I don't think I forgot anything that's basically it oh yeah of course the cardigan uh, so she has this little whitish beige cardigan with a little cat head here uh, decorative button in golden color and of course the little crochets that are attached on this little thread here and otherwise just normal white beige fabric so guys I guess that's it for today's video let me know what you think about this doll in the comment section below uh, let me know what you think about the complete series of the Miu Miu Alamod dolls do you think it's good that they have like Mia jumping out of the execute and joining the Saras? Do you want more of Miu's in the Saras Alamod series or do you prefer to have Mia in the execute? Uh, let me know what you think. Do you want more of the Miu Miu Alamod or do you think that's enough? Because we have 13 right now. So I think I have enough kittens. Yeah, maybe they should have a Miu Miu unicorn. That wouldn't be Mew Mew, right? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to take picture of her with her sisters. So the limited version of her, the blonde version. And also Miu, which is uh, her little sister. And she has the same sort of colored outfit. And then I might take some picture with all the... Uh, other cats of the Sarah's Alamod series. I'll probably have a different video where I introduce all of that series uh, one by one, like show you all the dolls. But so far, as I said for today, guys, so have fun whatever you do. Don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumb up and to leave me as a comment in the comment section below and share this video. I always love when I see that people are sharing the video uh, either from YouTube or from my Facebook page. Anyway, uh, see you next time for something else. Bye!